Hello, hello everyone. I am Darkness and welcome back to Life is Strange Before the Storm. We're on part four and we just played D&D &D with Steph and Mikey. That, that really can't get more true to how D&D &D just kind of works with that. So I finally think we're going to enter the school building and see what's going on. I'm sorry that the last one was so long, everyone. But it's a hashtag sorry not sorry, so... What have you got here? Twitch? Don't call me that! True uh -oh. North. A jock so dumb he makes jocks look bad. Guess Nathan Prescott made the shit list. Oh, wow. This is some really weird crap, Prescott. It's not yours! Give it back! I hate that you're on the team now. You're such a loser. Uh... Take it elsewhere. Um, uh, not your both losers. Uh, take it elsewhere. Want to take this elsewhere, guys? The mute speaks? Whoa, whoa! You earn a spot on the squad, Twitch. You don't have your dad try to buy off the coach. <laughs> At least my family pays tuition. How much financial aid does your deadbeat dad need again? Wow. Dick move, Nathan. My dad lost his job at the shipyard when your dad closed it down. And you want to talk shit to me? Leave Nathan alone. You know something, uh -oh. Prescott? I'm going to do you a favor. You can't be a part of the team and be into this stupid crap at the same time. No, 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 no. You're a piece of shit. I am going Stop to it. kill you. You guys, Stop. Why don't you do something? Oh god. Okay. If my recollection is correct, we're about to swoop in and save the boy who kills you in the main game. Stay. Oh, I have to do it. The only way to stop a bully is to be aggressive. I've got to put Drew down. I just played with your brother, dude. Back off, idiot. What the hell did you just say to me? Idiot. Idiot. You're not used to a word that big, are you? Don't be scared. You're seriously defending Nathan Prescott? Oh. Congrats. You've actually got me feeling sorry for Arcadia Bay's most spoiled brat. That's how much of an asshole you're being right now. You're such a crazy freak. Mind your own business. Uh. What's crazy is that you haven't been held back yet. How is that possible? You want a piece of this? Mm. Please. Kicking your ass is going to be a piece of cake. <laughs> did you just laugh? I did. Chloe just owned you. Yay! Shut the fuck up, fresh meat. You shut the fuck up. Yeah. <laughs> Go, Samantha. <laughs> Guess you got lucky this time, Prescott. Had two girls show up to save you. Take your pervy picture book. Are you okay? You think I need help? From you? You're welcome. You... Are you alright? Thanks for sticking up for him. People think just because of his family. Everything okay here? <laughs> <laughs> no problem, Skip. Yeah, way too late. Oh, that was not my actual phone. Uh, I don't like how we left things. We'll talk more tomorrow. Yeah. Is that a sarcastic perfect? No. Yes. It is. I know that from a mile away. 
Wait a second. We've got two more people to read about. <sighs> I can't believe I stuck up for Nathan. All right, let's read about Drew first so I don't have to get mad so fast. Drew North is Mikey's older brother, and the two of them couldn't be more different. Drew, Drew is a legit jock, the type that spends hours a day in the gym and has nicknames for his biceps. I've never been to a Bigfoot's game, but I hear he's actually really good at throwing stuff into other stuff or whatever. <laughs> I, like the, I like the drawings that go along with it. Mikey told me that Drew is planning to go to college on an athletic scholarship, which is good because their family is even poorer than mine. Their dad was one of the fishermen who lost their job because of the Prescott Corporation. As you might imagine, this put Nathan on Drew's shit list. Not a good list to be on. In the war between a meathead and a shithead, does anyone win? Anyway, I don't think Drew's a really bad guy, but I guess I wouldn't know. It's like we exist in two completely different planes of existence that happen to be in the same school. Happy to keep it that way. Alright. Ah, no! Made mistakes. And, oh god, I have to read about this guy. Nathan Prescott is the golden child of the Prescotts, Arcadia Bay's oldest, wealthiest, and most powerful family. As they love reminding everyone. Nathan's dad does something... Nautical re related. Wow, why did that word just dump me for a second? I'm losing my edge. I think it has to do with murdering baby seals and turning them into death rays for the military. But I can't remember the details. Whatever the case, there's, if that would mean they would have lasers at the school. Come on, we just went through this with the teacher. Whatever the case, there's a lot of people in this town who hate the Prescotts, including all the fishermen he put out of work. And you do not want to mess with fishermen. They smell. Nathan is odd. He's extremely privileged, yet dark and brooding. Even though he's a dick, I can't help feeling bad for him sometimes. He's really just a weird little dude trying to figure out his shit, but he has to pretend to be all this stuff he's clearly not. Like an athlete, or a cool kid. You can tell it fucks up- it fucks him up inside. Of course, the best cure for feeling bad for Nathan is to actually talk to Nathan. Didn't you remember what a wonderfully punchable face those Prescott jeans gave him? That sounds about right for what I just did. That ass and a half. Alright. Enough signs for the Tempest? Really? Uh-oh! SpaghettiOs! Well, hold on one sec. Sorry, I was a dum 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 de duty. Uh, I forgot to make the camera lens stay open. Oh, hi! Oh, hello! Oh, good! You're here! Um... I do beseech you, chiefly that I might set it in my prayers. What is your name? Miranda. Oh, my father, I have broke your hest to say so. Good. Admired Miranda. Indeed worth what's dearest in the world. Many a lady I have eyed with best regard, and many a time have listened to... Many a time, the harmony of their tongues Hath I listened to- Hayden, you're killing me. You've had weeks to be off book. Sorry, Mr. Keaton. No, don't apologize to me. Ooh. Apologize to your scene partner who's been very accommodating, <laughs> and to your other fellow actors, and most of all, to yourself. Mr. Keaton, sorry to interrupt, but does this look better? I had my mom take it in a bit. Rachel looks awesome. Um... This is getting as surreal as last night. She she winked. Wow, looking good, Rach. Very cool. Exquisite, Rachel, as always. Mr. Keaton, I'm still having trouble with... My affections are then most humble. I have no ambition to see a goodlier man. I mean, does she really mean that? Especially because I just straight out told her I've been banging all the ladies. <sighs> yeah, that is hard. We've talked about that line forever. We need a fresh perspective. What is the happening? The question is, are Miranda's feelings of instant passion for Ferdinand just inexperience in dramatic circumstances, or has she actually just met the love of her life? Um, what you are... Think? Um, wow. Um, 
if if you ever wanted to be like, how do I make the list of I need to be forward enough to let a guy know and make him get instant boner, which this is Chloe, so I guess she's getting like, in, I will not get into biology. D um, please, for the love of God, be that forward. Be that forward. I must say it's true love. Sometimes when you meet someone who's going to change your life, you just know it, I guess. Also, you've got parents coming to see the show, right? At 20 bucks a ticket, it's gotta be true love. Wow, a romantic and a cynic. That actually kind of helps me. Thanks. <laughs> that Thanks, is Mr. cool. Keaton. Later. See you later, guys. Oh no. I have first period improv with a class full of freshmen now. I'll just be a minute. Okay. So, why am I here again? Oh, could you grab my belt for me? I think it's in my bag over there. Uh, um. Y yeah. Sure. Um. Okay. Uh, get the belt. Don't say any stupid shit and don't, like, fall down. <laughs> Should be doable, right? Nope. I'm gonna be doing all the stupidest of shit. Don't worry. All right. I'll look at this. This poster <clears throat> definitely says <laughs> something. It says Quell. Hey now, sharing is caring. <laughs> Steph's pencils. To internet or not to internet? That's not even a question. I have feelings about this. Most of them are not good feelings. They're good now. <laughs> Why do theater kids take themselves so seriously? A newcomer to Blackwell Academy, Rachel Amber blew the doors off her audition with a heartbreaking rendition of Blanche from Tennessee's Williams, a streetcar named Desi Desire. Other interests include athletics, debate team, boostering fundraising, local history, and nature. Wow, everything! Rachel hopes to one day grace the stage of Broadway and the silver screen of Hollywood. I am not reading Nathan Prescott! Ah, oh, my dogs are gonna drive me crazy. Hey, it's Dana playing Miranda. Nah, I thought that was kind of familiar. Alright. I don't care about you, Travis. Um. Okay, cool. Should I be tagging something or? RA will suck as Prospera. If VC had any talent, maybe she would have gotten the part. Talent? Is that what got Mr. K to cast you, slut? Guess they don't call it Drama Lab for nothing. I comment. Like, comment, subscribe. Just like you guys should be doing. What to say? What to say? Mm, what you say? Oh, that you only meant well. Well, of course I didn't. Slut shaming? I want to speak out against slut shaming. Yeah. Slut shaming is so 2009. VC should know. Yay, does that count as a part one of my graffitis? Wow, Rachel's in here now. Whoa. Did I not read these on camera? I wrote, read that on camera. I read that on camera. Okay, it must just, since I saved it and then picked it back up. All right. Spoiled dick baby. Well, that's a good way to start off an entry. Max, have it? Hi, wow. Take two, Anka. Have I ever told you about Nathan Prescott, aka Spoiled Dick Baby? Anyway, you know that old question about what if you could go back in time and assassinate Hitler? Well, I worry I just stopped that assassination when I got between Nathan and, that, and an ass beating by Drew. And an ass beating. There's, I, dash. Football jock and all-around angry teenager. Maybe I'm getting soft in my old age. Spoke to Elliot too. He was super nice as always. Wanted to hang out as always. And I was non-committal as always. Poor guy, he's super persistent. It must be hard trying to give a shit about me. Speaking of giving a shit, I actually played a game with Steph and Mikey this morning. It wasn't terrible, but I'm not sure I have the energy to, to consistently care that much about anything. 
I probably should be concerned about how little a shit I give these days. But that would mean giving a shit, wouldn't it? Chloe, the catch-22. Yeah, that is that is a catch-22, isn't it? Rachel! There's the face I remember of Rachel, not necessarily the punk one. That That is the picture. How do you describe Rachel Amber? I've been trying to find the right words ever since we met. Uh, the crazy thing about Rachel is that I really should hate her guts. I mean, she's a straight-A student, beloved by everyone at school, including students and teachers. She's super nice and uh, she's super into acting, and I hear she even does modeling on the side, which I imagine her district attorney dad and step Ford and Stepford housewife mom support her in. It all sounds like a recipe for awfulness. And yet, Rachel somehow is nothing like her privileged golden child type you'd expect. She's not like any type, actually. She's probably the most surprising person I've ever met. And that's not just because when we met, she was helping me take down some skeevy assholes at a rock show. But it's just this feeling she gives off. Like when you're with her, anything is possible. Why say it? not right meow? Right meow? Are you talking about right meow? Fuck, it really sounds like I have a crush on her, does it? You do. Here's hoping she reveals something really horrible about herself soon, like a stamp collection or a love for cat memes. Something to make her a little less indescribably awesome. You seem to do a pretty good describing it. A pretty good describing it? Stamp collection or not right meow. No, that's, that's not how it's going to go down. Sorry to tell you. There we go. There was more I could look at. That's what I thought. Sweet collar, Pepe. And look. Should be life is drama. Oh yeah, and I never even looked to see if that tag counted. Hold on. We're, we're, wait, did I lose track of my tags? They're right here. Oh, they're under this. Uh, drama nerds. Ooh, there is something here. Um. I guess the Prescott donation doesn't cover this. Props? If I'd known acting meant getting to play with weapons, I totally would have auditioned for the, the Tempest. Okay. But is there something I can tag? Oh, I can't go Chloe. up on the stage. My pants get lonely without my belt. Um... That sounds like an invitation of another sort. Uh, uh, fine. That's the nicest backpack I've seen in my life. Hmm? Rachel looks so happy here. Uh oh. Somebody else with a tragic pass? There's Rachel's belt. She saved me the. Guess I'll go give this to Rachel now. She saved me the trouble of taking it off of her. That's. You know, it's, it's, it's an age where this is, um. Uh, Rachel's forwardness is usually much more appreciated uh, by just give it a few years and well I guess you can't give Rachel a few years um, must be a hundred costumes in here <laughs> am I the only student who's not in this show graffiti Halo for Rachel. Absolutely. Wow, she scribbled everywhere to make a halo. It's a circle, right? Save my life. Get some ink. Wow, that was a lot of scribbling for a circle. Definitely an improvement. A note. Sometimes you just gotta turn up the heat. I, where are all the pencils? I know it was you, Hayden! Like, come on, just let the pencils go. You need to let it go. Okay. I'm gonna guess it's from Logan. 
you are very beautiful. Do you want to go out? I would be into that. L Logan, guess who? Look, guess who? I would I would do that on purpose. That would be me purposefully being like I'm in school. Uh, Rachel, is this your belt? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Uh <laughs> Did they just sh show the bare shoulder on purpose to... Uh, she, she enjoys forwardness. Uh-oh. That was a cool... Uh, say nothing. No, 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 no. I'm gonna just stand here. This is saying nothing. Uh, that was a cool costume. Now, how many different angles am I gonna get of staring? I really liked your costume. Thanks. So, did you bring flowers for my dressing room? <laughs> uh, how about a belt instead? Perfect. I'll let you finish changing now. This is awkward. Whoa. Chloe Price. Rachel Amber. Last night was amazing. <laughs> I, I, I'd never seen Firewalk live. Pretty fierce show. We'll have to do it again. To tell the truth, I went to bed last night wishing it never had to end. But then I thought, why? Why does it have to end? Oh. My. God. She's making this deep. Maybe it doesn't uh, have to end. Exactly. How would you like to join me on a little field trip? Uh, fuck yes. Fuck yes. I was born to ditch. Let's get the hell out of here. What? I... Like, I get a little butterflies. I was like, ah. why, why can't Warren just be this forward with me? Dad, gum it. I gotta put my f my watch decided to bing on me. You sure you don't want to just grab the bus or? Nope. If we're gonna go rogue, we're doing it right. I should have said, well, I should have said go rogue. What am I getting into here? Seattle. That's not what she wanted to hear. Pull up a chair, Price. The view's amazing. Uh, Rachel. sorry, Elliot. Um, why weren't you and Kim? Everything okay? Um, yep, everything's amazing. What happened with Drew? People saying you were awesome. Yo, let's talk later. Yeah, don't kill my lady boner, please. Um... Um, I know what you're thinking. When you gonna talk about Rachel Amber? Fine, you nosy bitch. Here it is. Rachel Amber is the most popular girl at school, and she's super into hanging out with me all of a sudden. Like this morning, when she pulled me into the drama lab and asked for my expert opinion about true love in front of the whole class. I told her true love is the best way to get parents to buy tickets. Mr. Keaton, the drama teacher, seemed to agree. Then Rachel brought me into her dressing room. Gotta say, that was the quickest I've gone from meeting someone to helping them get dressed. But that's Rachel. She doesn't give a fuck. She just lets it all hang out. Then Rachel hatched this crazy plan for us to skip school together that involves jumping onto a train. You know, like kids ditch school in the 60s. The 1860s. Stay tuned, Max. I have a feeling there will be a lot more to tell you soon. Chloe. Love, Doctor. Okay, I have to go ahead and add something to this here. Guess we're not the first ones to hop on this train. I wonder what the symbols mean. 
Uh, where they've been, where they're going. Where'd you come from? Where'd you go? Whoa, Nathan's dad is a Terminator? That totally checks out. <sighs> I feel pretty confident there's going to be a dead body in here. Wow. <laughs> so optimistic. Great. I can graffiti right there. There's my chair. No, 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 no. Not move that way, though. Yeah. No. Give me a sec. Things heavier than it looks. Yeah, don't sit down yet. No, I saw I it. I should sit down. No, hold on, Rachel. We see humans, but no humanity. Everybody is somebody, but no one wants to be themselves. <laughs> Some preachy graffiti up in this train. Let me add to it. Why are you looking around? It's you and Rachel. Uh, uh we are monsters that everybody lies. I'll go the house MD route. Everybody lies. I like that. She's got some handwriting on her. Yep. Sit on down. All right, Chloe. We're on a freaking train with Rachel freaking Amber. Play it cool. Uh, donuts! <laughs> is this nervousness? Is that what this feeling is? Wish Max were here so I could ask. Should I make small talk? Is that what people do? Nice weather! Like, uh... Uh... I'm gonna go the, uh, route since I've said, uh, a few times already. Uh... So... Um, what is wrong with you? What? You're acting nervous. So... It's kind of weird that we're hanging out. You mean because I don't hang out with anyone and I don't have any friends? You have friends. Well... I used to. Friend. Singular. Her name was Max, but she left for greener, more northern pastures. Hmm. That sucks. Uh, I don't know what to say with you. Um, where's the option? Didn't I give her a blue belt? How did it turn green? I just noticed that because I was about to make a joke about, uh, can I help you with your belt again? But... Hey, so, I want to say thanks. For pulling you out of school? No, dummy. Thanks for last night. Ah. Uh, mm. If you hadn't shown up. Assholes abound in Arcadia Bay. I owe you. That's for sure. Is that why you came along? No. Are you suggesting I should need a reason to ditch school? I bet you're wondering what we're doing. The thought occurred, yeah. Well... I wanted some company. That's it? That's it. Gonna need more than that? No, I love company. No. No, 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 no. Good to fucking go. Anything beats another second in Blackwell. You really hate it there, don't you? You don't? <laughs> right. What reason would Rachel Amber have for hating Blackwell Academy? Your high school royalty. You don't know me. Yet. E Ooh. Let's do something fun. Um. Ooh. Uh, uh, don't give me a flirt button. I'm going to press the flirt button every time. it! V-card's been punched, Rachel. I'm sorry. Wow. Too far. Well, I don't know. Okay, something fun. I'm all ears. Two truths and a lie. What? I think we should play Two Truths and a Lie. It's a game where each person offers up three facts about themselves. 
two of which are the truth, and one of which is a lie. Right. And then the other person has to guess which is which. Uh-oh. Yep. Sounds fun. You're on. Doing it. I'll start. First, I'm ambidextrous. Second, I was born in New York, the land of fashion and Broadway, to which I will one day return when my heinous exile here in Arcadia Bay comes to an end. The New York, huh? I've never been. Not a world traveler? Not yet, at least. If you could travel anywhere, where would you go? Russia, Greece, Kathmandu? Kathmandu? One day, I'm going to climb Everest. And I thought moving away from Arcadia Bay was ambitious. What's your third thing? My third thing? Two truths and a lie. You say three things. Right. I'm a Leo. Meow. She okay. forgot. <laughs> so, ambidextrous, born in New York, and a Leo. Gotcha. So, which is the lie? She forgot her own game, though. I can't check my journal. I can't. I can. Wait a second. Um. 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 D d modeling. Um. Straight A student. Uh. D d yeah, but this is not giving me the information that I require. Um. I got a feeling that she she mentioned. Uh, <sighs> It's Leo or ambidextrous? I'm gonna go with Leo. You're way too lucky to be a Leo. You've got to be a Sagittarius or something. The Archer? Ooh, that'd be cool. Like Artemis. But I'm afraid I was telling the truth. Ah. Uh, Seriously? Dagummit. Hear me roar. <laughs> no, the lie was New York. I've never been there, though I want to one day. I was born in Long Beach. New York's on the bucket list, then. Sounds good. Okay, your turn, Price. First fact. Right. <sighs> Something about myself. Uh-oh. Should I start things off with a lie or with the truth? Or should I cheat? Let's see how good she really is at this game. Her, her eyes are very, like, uh, um, um, daggerish in this game. Um truth. Um Oh, I wanted to be a pirate as a kid. I used to want to be a pirate when I grow up. I kind of still do. Arr. What? Um See that sounded like a lie. So let's go for a lie. I'm allergic to cats. I'm in a band. Uh, I broke my hand punching someone. Yep. I once broke my hand punching Stephanie Kowalski in fifth grade. No way. Bitch took my yoo-hoo. Knocked her the fuck out. I see you like to write notes to yourself. Helps me stay focused. <laughs> also, sweet scar. Oh, do I not have a scar? I gotta tell the truth. Um, um, wow, we're getting closer as we play the game. I used to love country music when I was a kid. Now it makes me want to throw up. Literally. That's weird. Yep. You're hella mysterious, Chloe Price. Uh, hella? <laughs> Who says that? You do! It's a Cali thing. Anyway, I think I have your number. She checked your hands for the scar. I'm not sure why country music makes you throw up. I'm a complex girl, Rachel. I think it's probably true. Also, I kinda like the Dixie Chicks. You and David both. No accounting for taste. Who's David? He's... Ah... Uh, <laughs> The guy my mom's seeing, I guess. Oh. And you don't like him. 
<laughs> it's still so weird that she's dating someone. My dad and my mom, they, they were totally in love. You can tell how fucked up she is now just by how she's settling for David. He's this total hard-ass ex-military jagoff type. Like, the opposite of my dad. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, David has no respect. He acts like I'm some kind of problem to solve. Sometimes I am a problem, though. That's a load of bullshit. Hmm? What do you mean? You're not a problem, Chloe. You're a person. It sounds like the only problem is David. You need to hit him where it hurts. <laughs> the only thing that David loves has four wheels and a four-barrel carburetor. <laughs> oh, God. A muscle car? I'm probably going to steal it soon, so... Let me know if you need an accomplice. Of course you wanted to be a pirate. Sail the open seas. Buckle swash. Plunder secret treasure. Yours. Did I mention my love of booty? <laughs> so, pirate. Obviously true. Uh maybe you'd like to be my first mate. Yeah. Oh. Are you accepting applications? Considering it. Now, about this broken hand story. It's not that I don't think you could knock Stephanie Kowalski out. A bitch takes your yoo-hoo, she's got to get got. Damn straight. But you didn't get that scar from punching someone. No. That scar is from a distal radius fracture. What? How could you possibly know that? I broke my wrist when I was 10. Ah. Uh. The point is, I know that the scar you've got comes with breaking your wrist when you fall. Like, from a skateboard? Yeah. I guess six years ago? Seven. Well, shit. I always thought I was a good liar. Good thing you're pretty. Ooh! So, if my math is correct, you told me two truths and one lie. What? You expected me to cheat? Winners make their own rules, Chloe. You are crazy good at this game. A lifetime of studying the human condition. Well, I'm impressed. I bet it's hard to impress Chloe Price. I'm gonna feel good about that one. When your dad is the district attorney, I guess lying is... something you're used to. Seriously? Seriously. I know who to call if I need to get out of a ticket, then. <laughs> Not that I have a right of my own. Car first. Embarrassing number of moving violations second. Hey. Thanks for trusting me. Trusting you? You played the game. And not everyone would admit to wanting to be a pirate. Your yeah. eye patches are so cool. And rum is delicious. Also, you told me about that dickwad David. Now he's on my shit list too. Hell yeah. Mustache brain won't know what hit him. I guess. You opened up a lot. That's all. It's not a big deal. I hate to break it to you, but Chloe Price is not exactly renowned throughout Arcadia Bay as a bastion of trust and empathy. Uh, uh, be direct. I'm just not really into touchy-feely shit. But I feel like I can trust you. Yeah? I got on this train with you, didn't I? Fair point. Mm. Wouldn't mind listening to some music. Oh no! Don't break it by music. Unless it's gonna be like... I can feel it, baby! Um... Hey. Wanna listen? Crap! 
No, not copyright infringement again. It sounds so good, but I need to quit out of it. Sorry, guys. I gotta get out of it as fast as possible. I'll listen to it later on my own. That sounded good. Cool bracelet. I've had it, I guess, since I was a kid in Long Beach. The bracelet. It reminds me that there's more to experience out there than just Arcadia Bay. Maybe one day I'll go back to Long Beach. Or anywhere but here. Maybe sooner than later. Me too. Arcadia Bay can suck a bag of dicks. Baby dicks. Sometimes I feel like I've got no reason to stay. Don't be surprised, Chloe. If one day I'm just out of here. Let me know if you need an accomplice. Check it out. We're here. Where's here? What? Where is here? Jump and find out. Did you say jump? Jump! Fuck it! You gotta remember to roll and not go down the ditch. That was weirdly... I, I'm getting too much into character because... Uh, into their characters because I was, I was getting nervous... This has been a whole episode of me getting nervous for other people way too much. Quote unquote popular people can feel trapped too. Everyone can feel trapped within the kind of stereotype everyone sees them in. Uh, it's, it's like you live your own life being typecast for it. Trying to figure out how you can play a different role. And there's not too many people that'll give you a shot at, at changing it. They want to see you play the same role you always have. That's the definition of typecast, right? So friendships like these work. Two people who want to be different from... Hey, it's actually a pretty nice view. Glad you approve. And as your reward for making it up here, I have a new game for us to play. Striptease. <clears throat> Another one? I like games. Deal with it. This is one I learned in theater class. It's all about improvisation. Hmm. So far, what I've learned about you is that you're into acting, lying, and playing games. What's your point? That you're either full of imagination or full of shit. Hmm. Let me know when you figure out which one. This game involves spying on people from afar. Luckily, we've got some high-tech surveillance equipment right here. Let's fire it up. I think that was supposed to be a quarter. That blows. Well, shit. <laughs> There's another one. That was my last quarter. You... Quarterless. Damn. Hey, maybe I can MacGyver something up. I've been told I'm pretty handy. Oh, yeah? Let's see what you got. Here's the thing that keeps tripping me out. I don't know if it's because they went the route they've gone Mitchell. for... Sorry about Drew. Not your fault. Ah, uh, Mikey said sorry for it because probably because I played a game. It is, um, 
It's weird. I think I'm having an easier time, like joking around and making puns and uh, having what, because uh, no, that they both their character models look older than they are. Is, is it? Is that just me? Is it just me? Um, I, I think it's because of the lower res kind of feel to, especially to story-based games like this, where you know the emphasis is not on making the most realistic face ever, uh, which means that you kind of can project the words that they're saying onto the face you're given and make up an age. And the words they're saying don't always match up with high school. They more match up with just being a young adult. So, like, I just keep putting this thing on them and then I just sound creepy. So, all right, Max, did we ever play two truths and one lie? You would have been terrible at it. We would have called it two truths and oh God, can I take it back? Sorry for lying, please. The guilt hurts. Two truths and a lie should be a class in school. I feel like I learned a lot. For example, Rachel is ambidextrous. She's a Leo. And she's from California. I also learned that I still have lots more to learn about lying. Rachel read me like an open book. She saw right through my yoo-hoo face punching story. Basically, she's a human lie detector. Have I mentioned that we were on a train? It was pretty cool sitting there and watching the world fly by. Then we jumped off of it and wound up in some crazy ass park north of town. NBD. Captain Chloe Bluebeard. Scourge of Arcadia Bay. Arg. Okay. So, uh, investigate. Huh. Looks like I might be able to pry it open with the right tool. Ooh. Okay. And I'm gonna uh, look at things to see what I can tag. This whole day is out of order. But in the best possible way. Can't tag this. Damn, that's an old tree. Wait, does this sign say butt rot? Yeah, it's made age of trees. Though interior butt rot prevents more accurate analysis. Yep. Sure does say butt rot. Ooh, wait. Look. The lonely oak looks lonely. Guess even trees have outcasts. There's someone right under it too, it's kind of weird, actually. Look. Looks like this one might actually be working. Probably is. All right, gotta figure this out. I must look at this sign. White Mueller really killed it with this statue of an explorer guy. Where are all my explorer ladies at, though? Probably at home, washing laundry and spitting out kids. Ow. Fuck you, Dwight. Ouch, that turned. That turned quickly. Oh my god, this can be graffitied. Oh yeah, this time you should be looking around. Uh I seem to be a circle kind of guy today. Yeah. I'm a rebel. He has abs. Stop or? sextanting the interns. <laughs> well then. I did it. All right. This Blackwall guy sure liked founding stuff that was already there. Founders keepers, I guess. Yeah, that is how it kind of works, isn't it? I'm glad nobody is Native American here. That we're talking. Like founding stuff that's already there. Yeah. Uh, just go ahead and. Oh, no, no, no! That's the bench of thought. Hold on. If Max were here, she'd probably take a black and white photograph and call it Innocence Lost or some shit. Look at the squirrels. I guess nature doesn't quite provide. I don't want to scare the squirrels. I kind of want to scare the squirrels. I wonder if I could use this to get the quarter out. Okay. I would love to use that. As I do not know what else to use. Oh my god, this place is searchable. Uh, okay. Yuck. Cliche much, AW and OL. A wall? Really? I've been saying sorry all morning. I admit it was really dumb to lock the keys in the car. You've been on me for three hours. Ooh. I want to speak to them. Hey, spare some change? Sorry, we might have some leftover food when we're done. What? No, I'm not. What kind of food? This place has really gone downhill. Shh. 
She's right there. Ouch. I, well, I wanted to give it to the squirrels, you douche dick. My hierarchy of needs goes pot, then beer, then wine. Still, wino has a classy ring to it. That's sad she knows what a wino is. Uh, bird's nest. Look. There's got to be something freeing about being able to build your home wherever you are, from whatever is around you. Yeah, that's why I enjoyed the idea of being a man of the land a bit more. Not having to rely on other people. wonder if I can get that quarter out of the viewfinder. Scaring the squirrels. Get out of here, woodland creatures. Have some self-respect. Okay. Now birds took their place. This trash can is in pretty high demand. So what's in there? Bye, you fools. I'm checking it. Oh, the squirrels came back. Well then. That's never gonna work. Let's have a sit. We'll hear the thoughts. Just a day in the park with Rachel Amber. You know when something kind of amazing is happening, you don't always stop to think about it right away? And then when you do think about it, you start thinking about it a lot. And the more you think about it, the crazier it seems until pretty soon you're psyching yourself out and then everything turns to shit. Yes. Actually, I yeah. do. Let's not do that today. It's usually not just one line. You got more from me? You gotta say it soon. I'm about to stand up. Really? Well. A W and B W, man, A W gets around. Yeah, okay, I just how many different places am I gonna see A W with another something? I don't want to head down there just yet. Crap. So I was supposed to have figured this out by now. I can't take the Prescott sign. Pry open. I'm not getting in there with just my fingers. Maybe Rachel has something I can use? Oh no, I have to ask her? I didn't even think about asking Rachel. Don't speak. Okay, I gotcha. Uh, I'm thinking about prying open that viewfinder. Got a knife on you? A knife? Yeah. My mom took mine. Uh, no. How about a nail file? I guess you could stab someone with a nail file. Uh, the Prescott sign. Oh, right. Sh sure, let's try it. <laughs> Victoria. I heard, I heard some fucked up shit from Nathan about you. Who do you think you are? He doesn't need you, you dumb fuck up. Go back to your trailer. By the way, Rachel Ambler obviously played you last night. You'll be lucky if she ever talks again. Oh shit, why didn't I see that? I'm so hurt. This is just the beginning. Really? I helped him! And I'm hanging out with Rachel Amber! Alright, hold on. Nail file over here. I already saw this. And unscrew. Don't throw it. That's her nail file. Treat, treat other people's property with respect, says the- Stealing a dedication plate takes persistence. <laughs> Steph. Heads up, Wells is on the warpath. Oh no, seriously. Just trying to help. You killed me this morning. I swear the G a GM does, dude. Also, thanks for playing with us. Mikey had a blast. He's cool. He's been down lately. Not sure why, but I know playing with you really meant a lot. All right, so I got the principal on the warpath. Great. 
I'm going to use the Prescott sign to pry this sucker open and get into it. Pry. Prescott power, activate. Hmm. There's the quarter. I don't want to boast, so I'll let you do it for me. Chloe Price, you are truly the viewfinder whisperer. I stand in awe of your powers. <laughs> Rachel smells like... Jasmine? Is she smelling me right now, too? Really should have showered this morning. <laughs> Alright, here's the game. You find some people for us to spy on, and then you and I will act out what they're saying and thinking. That's it? I do that in my head during, like, every class. See? You're a natural. Let's give it a try. Uh, yeah, the grill. I Let's act out the grill. Hey, what do you say we barbecue some squirrels when we're done here? God, you just have the best ideas. <sighs> I hope that wasn't sarcasm. Uh, I want to do the lonely woman. I don't want to do the lonely woman. That is weird. You're alone, so I can't act you out. Loving this guy. What's he thinking right now? Um, super wedgie. No matter how fast I go, I'll never outwalk this wedgie. That's so tragic, but also beautiful in its own way. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hold on. I have to find more. There's a grill. Nope, I'm gonna have to settle for the people grilling. Hey, you too. Hmm. What's going on with these two? Uh, child sacrifice. Um. Oh, I'm not going with circles as much when they give me child sacrifice. Come on. Yeah. And the Lord said it, thou shalt make a burnt offering of your firstborn son. Who are you talking to, Dad? <laughs> no one, son. <laughs> now, lean into the grill and see if the fire started. Further. <laughs> Further. <laughs> wow. That was dark. Too dark. Perfect dark. Good game. The Whoa, there's more people. I can't do the lonely woman? Whoa. Okay, yeah. Hold on. I didn't realize there's more to this over here. Oh, wait, that is... I'm getting a little disoriented. Okay, there she is. Sweet beanie. What do you suppose she's thinking? Oh, nature's Wi-Fi sucks. <laughs> nature's Wi-Fi sucks. Maybe there's a squirrel family around here with broadband. If only I can guess their password. We love nuts, 69. Dingoes ate our babies, 13. <laughs> Too soon. <laughs> this is fun. Who's next? Uh oh. Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to hog the viewfinder. Oh no. Ooh, jackpot. No, 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 no. No, that's her dad. Session in three, two, one. That's her dad. Nailed it. Damn, they are really going at it. It's got to be her dad. Look at the. Did you see her face? No. No, don't make a joke. No, 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 no. Back out. Ah, circle is usually back out, and now it's prostitutes. Oh, honey, I think we used the vibrating bed for too long. I'm totally seeing double. Did you see her face, Rachel? Hey, are you all right? What are we doing? 
Excuse me? Last I checked, you're supposed to be Chloe Price. Yet we've been ditching now for hours, and we haven't even gotten wasted yet. That's got to be against some school ditching rule. That was totally her dad. Uh, hell yeah. The honor student wants to show the school delinquent how to party? Be my guest. How gracious of you. I wanted to back out of it. You didn't know! Did, did you see her face before? Oh, come on. 